Hey guys, uh, today we'll be discussing about the ambiguity of the chronometer time. So by that I mean that sometimes in your navigation questions you've got the chronometer time given to you and you need to find the GMT from that. So of course on the ship it's much easier because you know what's going on there but uh, when it comes to the questions students get confused in how to find the GMT time from the given chronometer time. So there's an ambiguity there and this is what we'll be focusing on. So obtaining the GMT and the correct date and time obtaining the correct date and time of GMT. So that's the objective, all right, from the chronometer time. So I've, I've, I've written it down clearly so that you know what this video is all about. All right, so let's start with the procedure and I'll write, I'll tell you the procedure and then I'll show you a couple of different examples of how to do it. It's very simple, but students do get confused about um, calculating it. All right, so the first step is that when a chronometer time is given to you, write down two possibilities of the chronometer time so they will be in 12 hour intervals so for example if the chronometer time given to you is uh, 0 2 hours 14 minutes and 5 seconds this is just an example you write down uh, this time which is given to you and also it can be 14 hours 14 minutes and 5 seconds all right because uh, when you look at a chronometer it's just like an analog watch so if I just ask you to look at the analog watch, you don't know whether it's 2 o'clock in the morning or 2 o'clock in the night or 2 o'clock in the afternoon rather. So that's why when the chronometer time is given to you, uh, you have to write down both the possibilities. So just add 12 hours to the hours and write down both the possibilities. I'll show you in the examples of what to do, but just because we are on this uh, point here, I'm, I'm explaining to you. All right. Then the next thing you do is you apply the error to the chronometer time and you obtain the GMT. How do you apply the error? So the error will be given to you in the question. Uh, apply the error given. All right, so on the ships, of course, you calculate errors on a daily basis, but in a question, it is normally given to you. So if the error given to you is fast, then you subtract the error. If the error given to you is slow, you will add the error. All right, and that gives you your GMT, but you still don't know whether that GMT is the correct GMT and for what date it is. So the third thing that you have to do is basically apply your zone and the zone is based on your longitude in time or LIT. I'll show you how to calculate your longitude in time. So basically your longitude in time is the longitude given to you in the question or your longitude of the ship divided by 15. All right. So basically you are converting degrees and minutes of longitude into hours and minutes of time. So hours and minutes of time. From that longitude in time, you can get the zone. I'll show you how. So if your longitude in time, so let's say your longitude is uh, 0, 060 0 degrees, east and west doesn't matter, it's the same. It will matter whether you add or subtract depending on the east and west, but I'll show that to you in the example. So if your longitude is uh, 0, 060 0 degrees, you divide it by 15, what you get is 4 hours and 0 minutes. So your zone will be, of course, 4 hours. If it's east, then it's plus 4. If it's west, then it's minus 4. Alright, so I will not go too much into it. I'll show it to you in the example. Because sometimes your longitudes, or most of the time, your longitudes are not round numbers or round figures. It can be in degrees and minutes. So I'll show you how to do that as well. So once you apply your zone, you get your zone time. Once you get your zone time, the fourth step is, an indication is given to you in the question, whether it is AM or PM, or sometimes you will be given the ship's time. All right, ship's time will be given to you in the question or a, or a hint will be given to you in the question which tells you whether on the ship it's a.m. or p.m. It's evening or morning. It's night or it will a uh, ship's time will be given to you. I have I've discussed both the examples below. Once you do that, you understand and you compare it to the hint. Once you get your zone time, you compare it to the hint given to them the question and then it will clearly tell you what date it is. Put the date next to the zone time. That's step five. Put the date next to the zone time and then work backwards. All right. So let me show it to you in examples because it may not be very clear to you. So let me show you a couple of examples here. So the first example is, it's uh, for an example, it's 13th of September. The question says it's PM. So it's evening time, right? It's not AM. It's in the evening or night. And the longitude is given to you. Latitude in this case is not important, but the longitude is given to you as 075 degrees 00 minutes to west. So that means your ship is in the west longitude and GMT is ahead of you. 
right i'll show the I'll show you what that means the chronometer time is 0 3 hours 8 minutes and 12 seconds and the error is 2 minutes 5 seconds fast what you have to do is find the gmt so you can go back to the steps that i showed you and you will see the first step that tells you is that you have to write down both the possibilities and that's what i've done so the first possibility is the time is 0 3 hours 0 8 minutes and 12 seconds the next possibility of course it could be you add 12 hours to this hour and then you get this 15 hours it could be 15 hours 18 minutes or 12 seconds so it could be 3 in the morning or 1500 hours in the afternoon the next step that you do is and I'll, I'll keep erasing this one and two otherwise you guys will get confused with so many numbers coming in right so I'll erase this as well so the next step you do is apply the error so I've told you the error was fast you will subtract it that means the chronometer is running ahead of its time so I have subtracted the error in both the cases you do the same thing and then you get your GMT now what I'll do is I'll remove this date because uh, here you don't know what is going on here at this stage right so you, here you don't write the date so once you apply the error which was fast in this case you get 3 hours 16 minutes and 7 seconds or 15 hours 16 minutes and 7 seconds the next you do is get the zone now how do I got the zone you can see from the arrow itself the zone was longitude divided by 15 which is of course your LIT as well uh, so that's 75 degrees divided by 15 in this case your longitude is a whole number but in the next example I'll show you what happens if the longitude is not a whole number and what you get is 5 hours and 0, 0 minutes this is your LIT but whatever is the time here that's your zone as well but because it's west longitude your zone will be minus 5 I'll tell you why it is minus 5 all right that's your zone is minus 5 so that's how what I have done is I have subtracted uh, come back to the question I have subtracted minus 5 from in both the examples and in one example the time I have got is it's uh, if you if you subtract uh, 5 hours from 3 in the morning you go into the previous night 2200 hours all right so you can add a probably a 24 here to subtract a bigger number or rather a smaller number from bigger number because 3 is less than 5 so you might get confused on how to do it it's just add 24 to it but that also means that you have to go back you have to compensate for this addition of 24 hours so basically it's the previous day right here of course in the second example it's 15 minus 5 it's straightforward 10 hours now what is happening here is I have to compare it now the last step is to compare it with the um, hint given to me in the question so what's the hint given to me in the question the hint given to me is I'm circling it it's p.m. that means it's evening it's not morning so in the second case here it says it's 10 16 0, 7. so this is morning right so this cannot be the correct option so I'll cancel it out and I'll come back to my first option that says 2200 hours which is p.m. of course but remember it says it's p.m. on the 13th of September so I will immediately write 13 next to the 2200 hours this is 13th of September because my question tells me that it's p.m. but it's 13th of September on the ship right but because GMT is ahead of me and I've subtracted 5 hours from it my GMT automatically then becomes what date the next date 1400 hours 14 sorry 14th of September so that's why I'll write 14th here now so my correct GMT is for the 14th 3 hours 16 minutes and 7 seconds now if I if I explain the zone to you you can see that the longitude the west longitude lies here GMT is ahead so as you go from west towards the GMT you will be adding hours because GMT is ahead of you but if I look at it from the other perspective your ship is in the west longitude so you are in minus 5 zone that means you have to subtract from the GMT so if I go from the GMT towards your ship I am subtracting hours 1 hour every 15 degrees of longitude so because you are in 75 degrees longitude your ship is in the zone of minus 5 hours so this is a ship by the way if you didn't understand that very ugly looking ship but uh, the, con the point is to convey that your ship is in 75 degrees longitude and that's west longitude and you are in minus 5 because you are behind GMT GMT is ahead of you all right so if it was east longitude you would GMT would be behind you you would be ahead of GMT and you will add hours to it and I'll show that to you in the next example all right so let's take the next example so it becomes clearer to you so the next example it's uh, it's a different hint given this time the ship's time is given to you as 7:46 it's 5th of october uh, your longitude is given to you again latitude not important in this case 
and this time the longitude is not a whole number right it's degrees and minutes so we have to see what to do with that the chronometer time was 26 minutes and 5 seconds slow now this is a big error normally on the ships you don't get such a big error but this is just a question and the chronometer time was 0 3 hours 20 minutes and 14 seconds right now if you follow the steps you will know what to do and again I have written the dates here already but I'll remove the dates so that you guys know how to so uh, the first step is of course you write down both the options so 3 hours and 20 minutes here and then you add 12 hours and you write the second option this time the error is slow right so you will not subtract it you will add it that means the chronometer is running behind the error is slow so I have added in both the cases and I have got the GMT time as 3 hours 46 minutes 19 seconds or it could be 15 hours 46 minutes 19 seconds but I still don't know which is the correct GMT right so I have typed lap line my zone now. now in this case the zone shows as 4 hours now how do I do that so I have shown you in the way of the arrow you have to calculate your LIT first your LIT is calculated as longitude divided by 15 correct so this is your longitude divided by 15 what you get this time is 4 hours and 18 minutes now you can't have zones in minutes you can only have whole numbers as zones now in reality there are some countries like india which have a zone of minus five uh, plus five hours 30 minutes but that is for practicality and for business but uh, in, in terms of navigation what we do is uh, we normally maintain zones in um, round numbers all right so you can't have four hours 18 minutes so what you do is if it's less than 30 minutes you take the previous number the number which is next to it if it was more than 30 minutes you would go into the next hour so if 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 for example if for example this was 4 hours and 40 minutes your zone would be 5 hours because it's east it would be plus 5 hours right but in this case of course it's not the case this is 4 hours and 18 minutes is less than 30 minutes so your zone remains 4 hours and because it's east longitude it becomes plus 4 because in this case your ship is in the east longitude you are ahead of GMT so you would have to add to GMT so in here when I come back to the question I will add in both the cases in one I'm getting 746 as a ship's clock in the other one I'm getting 1946 so I go back to the hint the hint given to me in the question is it's 746 I'll circle it for you that's the hint given to me so I know which is my ship's time so I will immediately cancel out the next option the date is 5th of October 746 so I'll write down the date in this case I have added 4 hours to 3 in the morning so that it's still the same day so I'll write down the same day it's not the previous or the next day so my correct GMT in this case would be 5th of October 346 19 right because if you look below you can see that my ship is in the east longitude and this is again my ship I'm ahead of GMT so I have added 4 hours in this case of course to get my zone time Alright, so hope this is clear to you. This is a, a, a bit of a, a complicated issue for students. Uh, students often get confused on what to do, but it's actually pretty straightforward, pretty simple. So go through this video a few times and make sure you go through both the examples. The hint given to you are different in both the examples, but pretty much it's the same principle. You look out for the hint and then you compare the um, uh, zone time and you figure it out, put the date, work backwards and you should be getting the answer. Alright, if you have any questions, shoot me a comment. Um, otherwise, I'll see you in my next video. Thanks guys. See you.